Hello? Hello? I'm stuck on the second floor. Yeah, we're closed. This place is very creepy to me. You want me to spend the night up here? It's like they come here in private, like they have, you know, private things stored in here, maybe secret thing, maybe shameful things, you know. She found out her husband was cheating on her. We have a pretty top of the line surveillance system that we can go and check every now and then. Oh, that looks like so-and-so's husband. <laughs> Oh, and then they kept watching the tapes, and it was happening more often like than, than you would expect, so. What a bunch of crap. I just care about everything. I really do. The units are safe. It's people that I'm, I'm a little bit more worried about. They're very serious here. So you drive up, pushing the button, and wonder why the hell the gate didn't open. I had to punch it a private code to get the gate to come open to, to get in to park. It's a very secret code. I don't even know what it is. And I had to punch a code to get out. I think I did it twice, like a dumbass. You can get in the elevator, mm -hmm. and you can press a button. But the elevator won't go anywhere unless you've punched it in. So here we are, locked in this storage. Applying the compress. Which was <laughs> just terrible. If my stuff is locked up, I felt like my personality was a little bit locked up, too. Well, there are exit signs, I see. Yeah, but you can't trust them. And that would be the only way I'd ever get out of storage, probably, is if somebody just came by and said, I'll give you $1,000 for everything that's in that booth. All the crazy people from the street, <laughs> they come in and want to put their problems away in storage. I have my mother in here. A real mummy. Uh, it was a real mummy, and I was going to give it to the, one of the museums. So. I had thought she was in the safe, uh, the gun safe. And when Doug moved the gun safe uh, and he was reloading it, I says, where's your mom? And he says, I don't know. I've got an urn in my storage unit because I felt uncomfortable with it in my house. But I didn't want to like, you know, it was kind of, it, whatever, man. It's just weird, OK? So I was never in here, Mom. <laughs> so you store stuff. Do I have it? Is it going to be value to me? I don't know. Is it going to be value to my kids? They store their sense of self. Just a lot of old, cool junk. <laughs> their memories. There's things in there that I probably care about that I don't even remember. The sense of hope that maybe they had before it all got out of control. Well, I think in my case, there was some aspect of thinking that maybe a life would go back together in some way that was similar to the way it was before. And therefore, here's my hutch, here's my dining room set. When I got my first storage unit for my pigs, I was probably in my early 20s. Well, what do you know? It's a flange bearing. Why is it in here? I was just going to ask you that. Why is it in the Christmas box? I do have a lot of the pre-Columbian tapestries. When I was thinner, I wore those clothes. Gosh, why did she keep this junk? Hmm. Yeah, dry flower stuff. And that's my writing on there. Dry flower stuff? Dry flower stuff, yeah. Dry flowers? As in dry flower stuff. How do you get it out to show it to sell? I need an acre of land. <laughs> we, we store junk because all the things that we really need, we got them in the house. You know, candles, little candle, candle things. And I thought, you know, I, I just don't want it taking up space. And maybe some stuff was like a gift from the old girlfriend. And I thought, well, I really don't need that. And <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing how much stuff you, you accumulate, especially when you're a pack rat. Oh, you can't get in the garage. Oh, honey. <laughs> no. <laughs> Mostly mattresses. <laughs> Is that an entire bag of socks? Um, yeah. <laughs> socks and underwear I don't wear anymore. Stealing my underwear out of the storage. You guys need to give me another lock. I, I could get rid of this stuff at a garage sale, you know, and it's crazy that I don't sell it and get rid of it. But as long as I have the storage space, I might as well keep it, you know? If you could take, let's say, in a hypothetical emergency situation, you take one item out of here. What oh. would that be? Something. Oh, you're going to make me cry. <laughs> oh, poo. Well, this is dumb. <laughs> oh. This flotsam and jetsam collected over a lifetime, without all that stuff, I cease to exist.